All right, now that you've had that riveting story about Sokotoa, let's put it to use. All right, so uh, example one, write each trig ratio as a fraction and decimal rounded to the nearest hundredth. Sweet. So I'm going to pull up my calculator. We have the not so famous Pythagorean triple here of the 11, 60, 61. And again, we know that we have so ka toa. All right, so the sine is the opposite over the adjacent. So, um, right, the trigger, and I'm going to use this angle here. So you need to have a, an angle of origin. So this, I'm, I'm working with this one right here. So the sine is going to be equal to the opposite, which in this case is 11, over the hypotenuse, which is 61. For the cosine of this angle, it's going to be the adjacent, which is 60, over 61. Then the tangent is going to be the opposite over the adjacent, so we're going to have 11 over uh, 60. The pen is not calibrated down in this corner of the board, so I am struggling more than normal. And that's it. Now, obviously, I can go here and we can go 11 uh, divided by 61, and so the tangent of that angle is uh, 0.18. And which makes sense because you'll find that sine is talking about the vertical distance up. And so um, you should end up with a number that is pretty small for a triangle that has only 11, uh, 11 units tall versus the 60 units wide, right? And then in this case, the cosine, which is going to have a lot to do with the x values, should be fairly large, large as in getting approaching 1. And so... Uh, we have 60 divided by 61. Oh, there we go. Almost 1. So it would be very steep if that were a row. That would be very, very steep. And then obviously I trust you can use your calculator. Now, the more interesting question is going to be how does this apply to special case triangles that we already know? For example, 30, 60 right triangle as well as a 45 right triangle. Um, and I got to tell you that even though this is super annoying and doesn't seem to connect with much past to what we're talking about, I'm going to tell you right now that this comes back in pre-calculus and calculus over and over and over again to the point that this is something that will have to be memorized for those classes. So just know that's coming up, all right? So uh, we know a 30-60 right triangle. So here we go. So here's our right triangle. If this is 30. If this is A, this is 2A, which makes this ah, which makes this A times the square root of 3. All right, not too bad. So then if we're looking for the cosine of the 30 degree angle, that is going to be adjacent over the hypotenuse. So in this case, with the adjacent angle, so the cosine of 30, I'm going to write the cosine of 30, is going to be equal to my adjacent angle, uh, adjacent side length, which is a times the square root of 3, and it is over the hypotenuse, which is 2a. Well, a divided by a, these cancel out. So the cosine of 30 ends up being root 3 over 2. And we can use the same logic for finding the sine of 60, the sine of uh, 30, the cos and the cosine of uh, 30, or 60 rather, and also your uh, tangent. You can use the same principle to find the tangent. Again, this unit circle idea uh, um, and um, special case triangles is going to come back again in pre-calculus and calculus, so don't lose it. All right, so we did that. So example three, use your calculator to find it. So this is just really simple. So you're going to go to your calculator, and uh, that's not my calculator. This is my calculator, which, of course, you can barely see. But you can see all the, the trig functions right here, so we are good to go. All right, so uh, the sine of 52. So we go over here, we hit 52, and we hit the sine button. Now here's... Here's the trick. Here, here's the thing that you have to pay attention to. Before I hit the sign, trig functions come in two varieties. Think of it as metric and imperial. Um, you have radians and you have degrees. 
And radians are based on the fact that a circle uh, is, uh, or it has to do with pi. And so the length all the way around the circle is going to be dealing with pi as opposed to degrees. Whereas degrees, you know, you obviously you know how to measure in terms of degrees. Now my calculator right now is set into radians because you see this degree button is not lit up. I'm gonna click it. So I'm looking at degrees. Off camera, radians. On camera, degrees. And I'm gonna hit equals and that's not what I want. Such a big build up. Let's go sign. And we're gonna go 52, that looks much better. Hit enter, and then we get it. It's really that simple. But again, this degrees versus radians is something that you really have to pay attention to and make sure that your calculator is set to the correct setting. All right, back to our work here. So I trust that you can figure that out one. All right, finally, find the missing side length. So here we go. So finding BC. So we know that this is 15, and we have the opposite side length over here. So this is the opposite of the, uh, of the Pilgrim's problem, right? They had the height, they didn't have the length. So, um, well, what trig function deals with the, uh, we have to find BC, oh geez. What trig function uh, has to deal with the opposite and the adjacent side lengths? Well, well that's tangent. So I'm gonna have to use the tangent of 15, and that has to equal my ratio, right? So my ratio is opposite over adjacent, toe up, okay? Um, and so our opposite is 10.5, our adjacent is, well, I don't know, I'm gonna call that X because I don't know. Well, let's do some, uh, so the tangent of 15 is actually a number, right? I'm not gonna get the decimal, it's an irrational number. Um, so, well, it doesn't have to be actually. So anyways, but it's a number and so, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply both sides by x, divide both sides by the tangent of 15, and I get x is equal to 10.2 times the tangent of 15. That's a 15 if you can see it. So uh, I'm gonna go back to my calculator here. It is still set in degrees. I'm gonna clear. I'm gonna find the tangent of 15, and then I'm going to Nope, I don't want to do that. And then I'm going to multiply it by 10.2. And let's see what I get. So, I get, oh geez, this is embarrassing. I said I divide both sides by 15, didn't I? And then, is that what I did over here? No, oh my goodness. This is when it's clear I should be uh, not doing any math. I should go home. So, especially when you start as an algebra teacher struggling with basic algebra, yikes. Comment, comment below and tell me that it's okay so I feel better, all right? So, we end up with x is equal to, and that's why I didn't plan too far off, right? Is equal to 10.2 divided by the tangent of 15 and the good thing here is I got an answer that made absolutely no sense, which clearly means I, I'm an idiot and I need to do it again. All right, so let's try this again. So we are going to have 10.2 and we're gonna divide it by the tangent of 15 and let's hope for a better answer. And it, we're, we're looking for an answer that's most likely, uh, well, definitely larger than 10.2, right? There, that's much better. So we get 38.1, 38.1, all right. And so we can go ahead and put 38.1. All right, so now let's look at our next one. So we're trying to find QR. Now I'm not gonna actually go ahead and find it. However, what I am going to do is let's figure out what trig function we're working on. So um, we have the hypotenuse, and I want to find the opposite. So opposite hypotenuse, so let's, let's write it out. So ka, toa, opposite and the hypotenuse, we're looking for the sine. So we have the sine 
of 63 has to be equal to something over 12.9. Well, now if I multiply the sine of 36 by 12.9, I'll get the right answer. Uh, finally, for the last one, uh, we're going to make the bold assumption that this is right angle, because if it's not a right, right angle, I can't do a whole lot with what we know now. So, oh yes, there's more. So much more. So, uh, we have an angle and we have the adjacent, and we're trying to find FD. FD is the hypotenuse. We're looking for the cosine, because this cosine is talking about the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So, we have the cosine of 39 is equal to and we have 20 over some number that I need to figure out. So there you go. Cosine, sine, and tangent in action. Aw, oh, yeah. Fun times.